than one week, I am going on a amazing retreat and I'm not really sure what I'm bringing to knit. Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. So this week, um, we are Friday, April 28th and on Thursday, I think it's May 4th, I will be heading up to Jasper, Alberta in Canada for the Hippie Strings Retreat, where I am so incredibly honored I will be teaching. And the biggest stress that I have right now is what am I bringing to knit? I don't want to bring too much because I will be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and coming back on Sunday, but I do know that I'll have a ton of time to knit in between things and all the traveling. So what am I bringing to knit? What am I planning? And I just wanted to bring you all through some of my process. A huge thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Ana Luisa has some incredible jewelry that elevates your every day. They offer long lasting tarnished resisting jewelry essential where you can feel good about wearing them. One of the things that I absolutely love are these cotton cases. Now this is actually going to be coming with me in my travel bag to the Hippie Strings Retreat, just because I love that you can fit so much in here, all of your jewelry, and it's reusable. You can use these for anything and traveling, and for me, everything that I can get organized and make it easier on me, I just love. All of their designs are affordable and starting at $39. They offer free and fast shipping in the US and return an affordable worldwide shipping. They have a two year warranty and right now, friends, they have their amazing Mother's Day sale going on, which is buy one, get one 60% off of their jewelries. You can see that I'm wearing some of these in the video, and I will put the links to those down below. And if you would like to check them out, please do so in the link down below. I love that they have some beautiful jewelry that is very simple. I am not a very flashy person, so I really appreciate all of these amazing and elegant designs. So a big, big thank you to Ana Luisa, and make sure you check out their amazing Mother's Day sale going on right now. And I will put the link down below this video. First up, I am thinking of bringing two projects with me. My plan is to have a pair of socks kind um, potentially cast on. I am thinking double-stranded pair of socks. Really love double-stranded. I just need to pick a fun new skein of yarn to knit those up with. And I'm also going to be bringing my brand new design pullover, but I can only bring it if I make it to the front and join in the body so that I can work in the round for the trip. And right now, let me grab it. Um, we are still in the baby stages. This is the back. I'm not even done the back piece. From the back piece, I need to finish it, um, pick up for the right and the left piece, finish that and then join it all in the, in the round together. This is going to be a brand new design so I do want a lot of the math done ahead of time and I would love it to be just a mindless knit around and around. So I would really love to be able to bring this, um, especially I don't want anything that is too complicated because um, as you, we're traveling or I'm traveling I'm putting it up and down depending on where I'm at or if I'm just at the airport. I really just want to be doing rounds and rounds of stockinette knitting where I'm not stressed out about the math or a pattern or anything. This yarn is, let me grab it. This yarn is Yarnaceous and it is on her fingering um, held together with a Surrey. This is going to be a brand new design that I'm so excited about. I really love how these are knitting together. Just really nice and subtle. And this is going to be a brand new construction for me, a brand new design, a lot of exciting things. And I think that's what I love about this project is that it's so exciting because it's brand new techniques. Um, here is Maggie's yarn and labels. So. Absolutely love these. And as I upload the video today, I will actually be traveling. Um, so hopefully I'm planning on vlogging my entire process as well at this retreat and traveling and bringing you through all of that progress. Right now I'm also knitting uh, some sweaters for the girls and I am hoping to finish that before I can keep on knitting with this. 
Um, I could also bring the sweaters for the girls, but because it's bulky weight yarn, you, I just don't want too many bulky things. Another project that I thought about bringing was my garter stitch blanket, but the reason I don't want to bring it is because it's too big. I love a fingering and surrey project because you only need um, potentially two skeins and it's a very lightweight garment, so I don't want anything heavy because I will not be having a checked bag. I will only be doing a big carry-on. So I don't want a massive carry-on plus my knitting bag um, to just be too heavy. So I, I am keeping that in mind. Also, I am planning if I bring a pair of socks, which I am, I will be knitting double-stranded and I will be casting on um, before I get to the airport because I don't want to give them an excuse to take any type of needles away. So I feel as if I have something cast on on it, they'll know that I can knit. Um, I've actually had it once at an airport where they actually asked me to knit a few rows to prove that I was able to knit. And I'm like, yes, if, I, if this means that I get to keep my knitting needles, absolutely. Like I can sit here however long you want me to knit. I completely understand they're doing their jobs. So, but I am legally allowed to bring knitting needles in Canada so hopefully I won't have any issue but I will keep you all posted and updated on that. I am thinking that this one will be the number one project that I want to bring. Again I just need to make sure that I can get to where I want to be. It's not going to be too stressful if I'm like almost there but I just don't want to not touch it for the entire week and then try to pick it up and do the math as I'm traveling because I feel like that will be too stressful in those circumstances. So we are going to bring that. I will actually be caking up the second skein and second skein of Surrey today to bring with me. I may not need it at all, but I'd rather be prepared and have it in my bag. Again, we really hope that we get all the knitting done, right? We think that we're gonna get all of this time. So really wanna get this done, get this um, ready. So we are going to cake this up. But first, we need to figure out what sock yarn bringing to knit double stranded socks and then we will also get that caked up into a project bag this needs to be organized because i'm, I'm stressed about the knitting projects that i'm going to be bringing does that make sense like i feel like i've i've kept it that i didn't know what i was bringing that it kept stressing me out and i want to make sure that they're projects that i can bring and travel with and just pick up and go so let's see let's see what yarn we can we can come up with one of the ones that I wasn't really sure and I'm debating about doing is we are actually going to be opening up the Twin Stitches design shop again on May 12th and I will be having some amazing ruby and roses which is a yarn um, that I've always wanted to knit with and try and I do have a few of her sock sets that are going to be hitting the shop but I've debated stealing one for myself and maybe knitting up some double stranded socks. I was really thinking about the fresh cut, fresh cut flowers would be just stunning, or even just um, Cirrus Sunset. There are so many beautiful ones in here that I debated even just grabbing one of these and enjoying myself and knitting up a shop sample. So that is option number one because they are all, all calling my name. These speckles are just so incredible but we will be having all of these um and more of ruby and roses in the grand opening of the shop on may 12th 6 p.m eastern standard time so these will be in very limited quantities i only have four of each color potentially three if i snag one so i just wanted to make sure that this was a yarn that you guys would enjoy and love i certainly do so i want to reorder <laughs> so please buy out the stock because i want to be buying all of the amazing amazing yarns um, from her so this is option number one we're gonna keep looking see if there's other other beautiful yarns to choose from wizard of weasley wizard wheezes oh my goodness this is a harry potter colorway and look at that isn't that stunning Again, Ruby and Roses. I feel like this would just make like the prettiest pop of color socks. I'm gonna put this in the contender list, like in the maybe list. 
The other one that I've debated on doing is actually um, Discrete Unicorn. And this is the colorway of the month for the month of May in our Patreon group. So I also debated doing up a sample. Ooh, I actually, I love how these are looking. Um, and Miriam was so sweet that she actually sent a DK weight set and a fingering weight set. So to make my life easier, I could just knit up a DK weight pair of socks on my travels. And I think that this would be so much fun. So we may have a contender. And I knit DK weight socks so fast that, I mean, obviously, now, now I'm getting over my, ahead of myself, thinking that I can get two pairs of socks and an entire sweater done in four days while I'm teaching and traveling. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. But I am really debating doing this one. I just think it's so perfect and summery and bright, and I love the colors. So, what do you think? Which one, which one would you cast on? Let me know below. Which one would you rather cast on? I asked you all on Instagram because I could not decide, and I think I'm going to be going with Fresh Cut Flowers from Ruby and Roses. I cannot get this one out of my head. It is, like, her base, the Plump Rose, is ridiculous. It's so squishy. I am so excited to cast this song. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to be caking it up, getting my needles ready, everything. I'm going to be putting this in two 50-gram balls um, with the mini as well, and I will be able to get a full pair of double-stranded socks from this beautiful skein of yarn. I cannot get over how stunning this is. Oh my god, I can't wait to see how it cakes up too. So let's get going. We're going to cake this up as well as the Yarnaceous, get our bags ready and everything for the retreat. sure on how I split um, a yarn ball equally. I first will cake up the entire entire yarn. I will then use a kitchen scale and weigh the cake, divide that number into two, and I will keep the cake on my weight scale and when it gets to the number I've divided it equally into two. So this skein weighs 104 grams, which means that I will want to get to 52 grams on my weight scale. So let me show you what that is. Here you can see I have the weight scale. So I will just put it on. I will put my cake of yarn. And then I am just going to use my winder and wind off half the amount. And as it's winding, the number will be going down. And I do that until I hit half the amount. And that will give me two exact equal balls of yarn for me to knit double-stranded. I hold it from the top, the yarn, so that it doesn't move. I find it easier this way rather than trying to just let it go. Because if I do that, the ball will just move all around. This way, the ball stays there and is able to count down. Wow. 
So right now I'm exactly at 52 grams. So I will just cut my yarn. And now you can see I have two, whoop, of course. As you can see, I have two 50 gram balls or 52 grams ready to be cast on. Now I'm just going to wind up the mini skein and choose a project bag. The other thing I need to look at, um, because I am traveling by plane, is what are the types of notions that I'm allowed to bring versus the ones that I'm not. I do know like scissors I'm not allowed, but I just want to make sure that what I'm bringing in my little project bag is allowed. My thinking is that I will have my larger project bag that will have my sweater, and then this one will just have the pair of socks, so I can easily put this one into my other project bag. So we have the mini and then the 250 grams so now i just need to choose the needles that that's where i am not 100 percent sure again i know i'm allowed to bring knitting needles but i definitely don't want to bring my favorite knitting needles and have them confiscated so i'm debating if i want to bring wooden needles um those tend to not get confiscated as much and I'm just, yeah, I'm not sure. Again, I'm not bringing a checked luggage. So whatever needles I bring with me on the plane is what I will be having at the retreat. Now to choose the needle. I'm also going to be putting these fun stitch stoppers. Uh, these will be on my needles. I do think that it's great. And we'll also show that they are protected. Needles are protected and everything. So they're, they're not as sharp. I will be having um, these in the shop update on May 12th. So if you are interested in these fun stitch stoppers, they will be coming to the shop. Now, what color? So we have some fun patterns. So we have all sorts. All right, I just found these hot pink stitch stoppers, which I thought were absolutely adorable and perfect for the sock set. And I found these very pretty yellow for my sweater. And I will be able to put all of those together. So I'll have some stitch stoppers for that. I decided to go with my nickel plated uh, rather than my aluminum prism because those are my preferred ones. And this way I won't be as torn if they were to ever take them. So I chose my aluminum prism all, or, um, excuse me, um, just my nickel plated on, I think these, do they have them? This is a US 4. So, perfect for my socks. And I will be casting them on before the trip. I also want to make sure that in each of my project bags that I also have what I need. I put a tapestry needle, a tape measure, um, my needles, stitch stoppers. I want everything in here so that come the day, whatever I need is in one of these. I don't need a pair of scissors since I can easily just, it's not a type of yarn I'm bringing that I can't just tear with my hands. So I'm not worried about that. And I think that that's gonna be the only knitting that I'm going to be bringing. Again, I want to work on this sweater project before that day and I will be casting on. So I think that that's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm really, really excited to be bringing you along the journey with me. 2,000 years later. We're Tuesday and I actually finished both of the little sweaters. So this is the one out of the marshmallow. And I also finished the other one 
out of Yarnicorn. So I'm really excited. I wove in all of the ends. Uh, everything is done. And I'm just really, really happy with how these little sweaters turned out and I'm excited for the girls to be able to see them. Which means that I still have today and tomorrow before the trip to be able to get this sweater where it needs to be. I just finished this one maybe a minute ago and decided to come and record. I will be taking up the other skein and Surrey from the Yarnaceous and prepping my project bag to be able to bring it on the plane on Thursday. So I need to sit down. It is about three o'clock. So I have about an hour and a half, an hour, an hour and a half before we go get the girls. And I'm hoping tonight I can potentially finish the back piece and then start on the front panels. My goal is to try and get as far as I possibly can and um, have it be in the round so that I can work on that on the plane and go round and round. I am thinking for the flight to have this project bag. This is my Knitting Unicorns project bag. I love that it has handles, a drawstring. It's just a really nice size that I can also put like two, three projects in this bag because I'm gonna have the socks, which I also need to cast on, and I'm going to have the sweater. All right, so we need to get caking up um, another two skeins, have that ready, handy, because I will be traveling all day Thursday, plus we have a three and a half hour drive, me and Laura, to the retreat on Thursday, and then all of this back during the weekend and back on Sunday, I'll be traveling all day alone, and I think that this will just be the perfect project for me. So I'm really, really, really excited. All right, let's get caking up the other skein of yarn. I just finished with my project bag so I caked up the last two skeins or the next two skeins I should say and everything is ready there so what I did was I have this mini notions tin and I have pretty much all of my full notions I will have um, these in the shop update and I just absolutely love these so I'm gonna have all of these that will be coming with me and then in this little tiny pouch that's where I have my tapestry needle, the cord, my stitch stoppers, tape measure, kind of everything that doesn't really fit in the mini one, just here. So everything is organized and ready to go. I have um, the needle set and ready to cast on the ruby and roses. So I'm feeling really, really good with this setup. I am debating bringing my interchangeable needle set something that's kind of weighing on me just because I know I'm going to need a second size potentially for the sweater. I have to double check with my notes and the patterns if I do and if I don't. So this is the setup and what I will be bringing. I hope you all enjoyed this fun vlog and make sure you don't forget to check out the Anna Luisa sale going on now for Mother's Day. Thank you all so much and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to not miss out on any more fun YouTube videos.